This is not a bud. These taps pour out beer that has traveled only a few feet from where it was made. Years ago, the local beer was made at the local tavern, and in the back room you could find a copper kettle with tubing to carefully cool the home brew. Those days are back for a growing number of breweries. They are called microbreweries, and Oregon has become the nation's capital for the small operation. Most of them started as hobbyists that, that brewed their own beer in their basements and found that they liked, uh, not only liked the beer, but liked it as a hobby, and now they've turned it into a business. So a lot of businesses start that way. Kurt Widmer and his two sons opened the Widmer Brewing Company last April. Their beers are now served in 42 taverns and pubs in Portland, Seattle, and Eugene, and are winning awards in all of those places. An operation that started out on the kitchen stove now produces 200 kegs a month of the special light and dark beer with the distinctive taste of German yeast. The Hillsdale Brewery and Public House is the tasting house for a number of local brews. Manager Mike King says the only import is Budweiser. While yeast ferments whale ale and the 7% alcohol Terminator, tastes of a variety of local brews are available at the bar. The microbreweries offer a unique product. It's a different product. It's not the, it doesn't, literally doesn't taste the same as your usual light lagers. That's what most of the big breweries, breweries make. It's got a lot more life to it. The, the yeast is still alive. It's got a lot more flavor. Uh, it's not usually sold in bottles. Uh, so you've got to come to these places to, uh, to get the product. Mason sponsored a state law to encourage the breweries, which he hopes will become as successful as the Oregon wine industry. Lou Frederick, News 8.